Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 2024. 2024 is going to be a great year because we got sound effects. But 2023, well, it wasn't half bad either. Even though it was a crazy year all around the world, it was a great year for us where we took man and machine and pushed them to their absolute limits. The result was some pretty killer videos that all of us seem to enjoy. So the purpose of today's video is to kind of recap and highlight some of our wildest and best moments of 2023. We're just going to take you straight to the heat of the moment, to some of the highlights and best moments that we experienced. And you may be wondering, why are you sitting there with a microphone and headphones? This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the podcast studio for the Heavy Checklist. Heavy Checklist is a podcast that we started back in 2019, ran it for about a year and a half, and then we took a break from it. And it was wildly popular, actually. A lot of you guys really loved it and have asked for us to bring it back. So we're back. Uh, our podcast is called The Heavy Checklist. And the purpose of that name is because in every episode, we leave you with you know a list of things that you can do to potentially make your life better. So if you're interested in that, I would ask you to click the link in my description below, go over to the Heavy Checklist podcast channel, watch a video or two. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, let's let the good times of 2023 roll one last time. Wrong one. Wrong one as well. There we go. See you guys in 2024, even though we're already here. I'm going to stop talking because this is where I start rumbling. Dave drive for 30 seconds and he popped the exhaust off. I blew the exhaust off, I was going so hard. <laughs> I present to you the Devil's Cauldron here <laughs> in the high mountains of Utah. And I'm about to get in with a bunch of my best friends. Cletus is here. Dave, you made it. Oh, my skidoo. Oh, oh. hey, guys. Oh. Hey. What's burning at? Hey, buddy. Oh, oh. Hey, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Cheap little Harbor Freight engine. Got lots of power. Ladies and gentlemen, we just touched down in Reno, Nevada for what just might be one of the most awesome recoveries we've ever done. Victory Snow Angel. Celebratory salsa in chips. So we took our snow cat up and we were able to move it a little bit with the help of the boom, but it's just too much for our small cat. It's like a 30,000 pound telehandler. Yes, and our, our snow cat is 8,000 pounds. Hey, hey, it's snow kitty compared to this. Yeah, it's ours is a, it's like a kitten. Yeah, a little love child of this. broke the main hydraulic. The main hydraulic? I just don't understand why it just wanted to go straight off the side of the road so bad. Well, we're coming around this sharp turn. <laughs> we're walking down the mountain. Yeah, it's pepperoni with little flakes of uh, snow on top of it. It's like 2 or 3 a.m. <laughs> 3.30 in the morning repair. Ran out of fuel. <laughs> it's 5 a.m. We're like an eighth of a mile from the truck. <laughs> Welcome back to Troll Mountain, where we're stuck. And we're not just stuck, like two of our most capable vehicles kind of stuck. 
I've got to plow down so much that I'm pretty sure it's just gonna drive right out now, but we'll see. Dozer's out. Didn't even have to pull on it. You just need to pull this down to there. Get it turned around on that turn. It's a cement truck. It's actually a mixer truck. Sledding, I guess. The engine cut out. So does that mean I just need a like a faster run at it? I thought it was going off the edge. You're gonna try it again? Well yeah, because that now I got more traction. I got the T case locked up. I have the um, tag axle up so I got more weight on my drives. I was, I was like, all right, I'm out. I was about to bail because I thought I was going sideways off that. Ever seen a mixer truck hit the rhythm section? gentlemen, I just paid $5,000 for an abandoned moving truck that's full of stuff. I actually like that it's locked because that means that somebody thought something was valuable inside here, hopefully, unless there's bodies in here. 
Lock? which I guess would be valuable to somebody. Yeah, got this. These are by far my favorite. I would build an entire house out of these. A shower, a bathroom. Then there's Blocks Alan who takes of, it way too serious. Of, uh, glass. You don't like them, why? Because they're hollow and it's easy to break. Boom. There's a key on here. Honestly, I bought it for the surprise that maybe there might be something. In I know. I, I, I just wanted to admit it. Halfway turns. Yeah, there we go. Whoa. I'm pretty sure I see a power wheelchair. Whoa. Sewing machine. Not so stoked on. I don't know if I really want to touch stuff. See, I just said. This is exactly what I was afraid was going to happen. We're going to start unloading stuff. You said just touch one thing. Because you won't let us play. All right, we're going to tow back the shops. Do we go through it properly? A signed CD cover, no CD in it. A dust buster. Oh, yeah. This works. Oh, Book of Mormon on tape. Oh, come on, a broken mount? Clifton Webb and Barbara Stanwyck and Audrey Dalton? Did you put that in your pocket? I did. Yeah. Ah! Middle school microscope. Water skis. Oh. And there's two. Poker table. Ay, 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 ay. Been stuck here for two weeks. 18 days. 14 or 15, I, I've lost track. I don't even know anymore. Hundreds of thousands of people were left stranded in a state of total emergency. Our team immediately started gathering all the supplies, resources, and necessary pieces of equipment to provide relief. Belly deep in this machine. Dave's under there. You can only see his boots. Like, this is a proud moment for, uh, for me. When they found out that we were going to plow their street, they're just like, what? Like, what? They did not, they did not think they were high on the list because it's a dead end street. I just can't imagine how many stories there are like that out here, so. When you stop plowing, you lose the roads. This is the, this is the dilemma, the thing that happened to us. Two. Man, thank you. Yeah, man, we got you. Two. Appreciate it. Yeah, we got you guys, we got you guys. We'll be here in uh, 10, 15 minutes. like back to normal a little like I can't even tell you I wish I was part of your crew dude because I love helping people man you gonna <laughs> start crying right now <laughs> you guys are awesome I bought a dolphin a dolphin helicopter and I didn't just buy one dolphin helicopter I bought two dolphin helicopters I actually bought two and a half because there's like a third spare part ship your what did you buy your now? Your guess is as good as mine. But I can genuinely tell you that I have no idea what's in that trailer. And I can genuinely tell you I have no idea what's in that what trailer What if it's a either. Ferrari? I like the way you move. Oh! Do we have to wait? I, I, I don't know. I, I think we'll just go for it. I'm just going to yeah. get in there. Yeah. Six pallets of Yahtzee or something. I see a pallet full of Yahtzee. Dude, if I got a truck full of Battleship, I'm retiring today. <laughs> just playing battleship with my bros. Well, it looks like there was two different loads in there. Stuff for a uh, um, conveyor belt system with nice motors and rollers and encoders and we're going like a couple microcontrollers and a mystery box that will be interesting to see in it. And then we have a whole bunch of uh, motors and encoders, rollers, uh, microcontrollers. All right, multi-container pallet. That's what I don't want to hear right now. Oh, baby. This is this is probably where the money's at, hopefully. If you knew what the price of this stuff, if you have to purchase it, oh, it's I'm astronomically sure. high. Circuit breaker relay contactor. Those are really nice encoders. play goalkeeper here and uh, catch him as he rolls, Dave. He's just making sure he's, uh... Here he goes. Oh boy. <laughs> hey, is the Bluetooth working? Yeah, man, we're, just, we're, uh, we're chilling. Because that's going to come up, that's going to go down. Just 
slide that way. If you turn right a little bit, your right rear tire has a little nub you gotta get over, then you'll get some more traction. If you turn right, it should kind of crawl over. Then the last thing come up is that tire. I'm gonna have him shift over a little bit because he's right close to where he can get some good traction. This way, keep coming this way. Go, 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 go. Yeah! 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 How are you feeling right now that the G-Wagon just walked up that in your Hilux? I, I'm actually feeling very confident about the G-Wagon. Yes! You want Dave to drive? Show you how a real driver does it? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Do not let us down. All right, don't let us down, Dave, come on. <laughs> he just let go. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think we're good now. That's basically like the equivalent of installing a front locker. Old Hilux got the, the spark special treatment. Walk the front over. It'll pull it right up. <laughs> I'm so happy. G-Wagon is ready to go. Cody's nervous, I can tell, as he should be. Wheelbase is weird for this, but that thing is very capable. The uh, Devil's Hot Tub was the demise of the G-Wagon. About to find out if we're getting catfish or not. Like walking out of my room on Christmas morning. Even better in real life. Oh, just sitting there looking. Freaking Hi guys. Oh, like a snack. It's a yard ornament. I'm just gonna get the cash right now. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna right pull any punches. Frickin' see, come here, hold on. Picture that thing coming up in your rearview mirror. What do you do? You smile. That's the only thing you can do. 
That's all I'm going to be able to do on the whole drive home. Look at it. It looks like a cartoon character. This might be one of the most beautiful vehicles I've ever seen in my entire life. Do you think at any moment in time in this vehicle's life it was smuggling drugs? The, this right here looks insane. You're right? Standing That's there? what I'm telling you. This thing is cherry. This is the picture that sold me on it when I saw this. I was like, oh, it's really clean. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Isn't that just freaking clean? We even got some shag going on in here. Everywhere. Damn. That's what I said, the bubble nose. I don't need nothing like that. Yeah, you do. You throw your phone What? Lost the inner. Take you in the back of the van. It has a fireplace. They all have fireplaces. A shack carpet. It's got a sofa. <laughs> it's got a table. This is about to become a bed, I think. <laughs> oh my goodness! Look at that. <laughs> Are you kidding me, <laughs> bro? Look at this, bro. This is not allowed within a thousand feet of a school. <laughs> this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Ah <laughs> oh, man. Those yeah. are uh, power windows. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Power wind. This is, what is a cruise at? Like 25, 30? Uh, 30 it's so comfortable in here. This is great. Sunroof. You could lay on the floor. Oh, this thing's cool. awesome, dude. We were looking and we yeah. found. We found the coolest boat on the lake. You gotta see this thing from the outside. I don't, hopefully you got a good image of it because it is so weird looking. See that? That's the Muscles house, and it's about to slide off the mountain. Some point I plan on probably just surfing my house down the mountainside. I pushed it on myself! <laughs> that was sketchy. I didn't crash once. So I maybe tumbled off once, I didn't get stuck at all. This is my cabin. That is about mm, 40 feet off the ground. I'm in 30 feet of air. What's happening? <laughs> Ooh. Is a bad idea. 77 uh, Camaro that is impeccable. Like a very, very nice yeah, build. Very nice. And I try and be on my best behavior. They There's... were like, take it for a spin. I'm like, no, no, no. Like, I still want to be friends with you guys after this. That's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. <laughs> Sickle. All right, take it easy. Here comes the Reaper. Yeah, look at this thing. This thing's in good shape. Let's mix some paint, shall we? Oh, jeez. <laughs> How did it chuck it right at my gut? You want to watch the movie back from the beginning? All right, kids. <laughs> We're to the good part already. There you go. Hey. Now you got a nice clean keyhole. <laughs> All right, oh, now we got go. power. Yeah. Now we go. There we go. Huh? Max, I believe, is the kid's name who rolled this. He is at home pretty stressed out right now. He thinks the Jeep is still up in the ravine. And uh, we're going to build it uh, up for him. No. You guys are lying. What? Ooh. Ooh. I thought this thing was in a freaking mountain. Ooh. Ooh. Holy crap. No way. No way. Here's your man. Ooh. Back. What the heck, dude? I'm mind blown right now. <laughs> no way, guys. Yeah, man. Uh, we got it out. Oh, maybe a little bit. It's going so good until it wasn't. See that bad boy right there? That's ours. Clear. We're going to try starting it. Here it goes. Yeah, she's going to fire right up. Okay, watch out, I'm gonna let it run.
Ladies and gentlemen, I just bought all of that. All the, everything from boom lifts to pettibone cranes to backhoes to Mercedes to old boats to airport tugs to airport terminal shuttle stops. Literally, you name it, guys, it's here. So we brought a bunch of batteries, tools, fuel, oil, all the stuff that we use for a will it start video, which means this is going to be one hell of a will it start video. It's going to start right up. Gotta be honest with you, I don't know the last time I was this excited about a piece of equipment. Blew a steer tire last night in the middle of a canyon with no service and ended up hitchhiking nope. home. <laughs> Tight squeeze. It's like made for it though. Well, you can see our problem here blown out sidewall. These old uh, Michelin army tires are great until they're not. Good. Now I realize this isn't realistic for a lot of people because not everybody has a Black Hawk, but take this guy down. Yeah. Before we burn down the cap before we get it home. Yep. Is it just me or the wasps been absolutely terrible this year? I'm working very hard, oh. distributing my weight evenly, holding the deck down so it just doesn't leap up in the sky again. Flat, 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 big bump. That to me looks like a rock pile. They claim the cars are next to a rock pile. I could be completely wrong, and that could be just two pieces of earth. This is how long I hold a hand on there. Yeah, that's too hot. No. So hot. No. Put your hand on it. On it. Yeah, no, your fingers are coming up. <laughs> it's kind of hot. Yeah, it's hot. It's bloody hot. Yeah, it's hard to do instantly. Yeah. Wizard, positive thinking. Okay, that's totes, not wizard. I need you to kick all the negative thoughts out today.
How come you didn't tell Dave to stop for hands? I thought I said stop. I said, hey, hold it. If you stop. think that you probably said stop, then you definitely didn't say stop if you can't tell me. I don't remember huh? the exact words I used. You definitely didn't say stop. I said, I said, hold it, Tim. I, I said something like that. Good. Hey, is the radiator cap supposed to be on? What? It's supposed to run the radiator cap sitting on top of the radiator or screwed in? Where do you want it? Well, it was just on top this time. So, what, what do we do in the future? I say we put it on the thing and just twist it so it stays on. Lock it in or yeah, just... Yeah, lock it. Yeah, I'll talk they, to... they just set it on top. Just talk to management see what they say. I'll talk to the guys and see. Because I don't think that's... I don't think that... That's was fine. there a checklist or... We pass me a drink. Where's the cooler? Touchdown! What are you doing, Diesel? Working on my underwater basket weaving merit badge. Yeah! And she just put a sign out, American Fork or Bus. We're just hitchhiking today to the next recovery. <laughs> I still got it! Nothing will bring you joy like doing that. Hey, thanks for picking me up, man. Yeah, no problem, dude. I've been there. I think you're gonna really like this lifestyle. That's wild. We got the RV in the air. Train is just killing it right now. Hey Bart, you work for OSHA, right? Yeah, he for sure works for OSHA. probably have to pull this thing another two miles. What in the world? Few moments later. Uh, anybody have a truck? I got my truck right here, grab it. I'm just gonna drag him to the road. I'm not gonna stop. Somebody must let their drone right here. I gave the drone to you for like a minute. This looks a lot like ours. I'm gonna see if it'll. I'm gonna see if it'll work. It's a nice drone. It just needs to shut off. What? I just filmed a whole scene with me and Dave, and I'm pretty sure it's in time lapse. Put the phone selfie style and go. What are you flying the drone at? A lot of you have really hurt his little feelings. <laughs> you really just went super hard on him. He has a little bit of good in him, a little spark in there every once in a so while. What else are you going to look forward to in this video? Uh, it's Montana, so you know, include the Montana factor, which you never know what you're going to get. Bozeman is it's, um, not my favorite part of Montana, but also not my least favorite. You know, there's areas like Butte that are a little bit higher on the list. No, no offense to Butte. I actually love Butte, by the way. Oh, my first hitchhiker of the trip, so this will be good. Knock, knock. Wait, hold on. Knock, knock. Who's there? Wait, no. That's not a knock, knock joke. My bad. Why'd the chicken cross the road? Why? To get to the idiot's house. Knock, knock. Like, the chicken. You get it? The chicken who? He's at the idiot's house. Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Is he across the road? <laughs> I think I just completely ruined that joke. Hold on. <laughs> Why'd the chicken cross the road? Why? To get to the idiot's house. Knock, knock. Who's there? The chicken. The chicken who? The chicken's at the idiot's house. You're the idiot. I'm the chicken. He came to your house. Dave, <laughs> why'd the chicken cross the road? Hold on, get to the other side. To get to the idiot's house. Knock, knock. Who's there? Nope. The chicken. No, nope. no. Nope. Who's there? The chicken. Don't answer the door. Nope. Don't answer. You're the idiot. I'm the chicken. I think I might be telling it wrong because nobody seems to be laughing. You went to the wrong address. I don't want you to knock on my door because then I'm the idiot. Why did? Exactly. That's the whole joke. Yeah. Why'd the chicken cross the road? To get to the idiot's house. Knock, knock. There. The chicken. Is there another line? I told you not to answer. That's I'm the feeling... punchline. You're the idiot. I'm the chicken. I'm at your house. Yeah, buddy! All right, here we come. I 
just forget sometimes where I put my drinks and then like I see a vehicle driving past and I'm like, oh yeah, there it is. And I always smash them like that so you always know they're mine. <laughs> Rocks, Alan? No, not that I know of. He's a rock you wanna you wanna keep? What is it? <sighs> I'll hold it for a Found this emergency flare. We're gonna see what this bad boy does. <laughs> Any second now. That would be a real bummer for somebody. Should just land on this connex right there. Why would you start without us? I um, literally flew all the way across the country. He said, I'll be there at 9, and then he said, I'll be there at 10, and then he said, I'll be there at 11. And so then he said, I'm not perfect. Have you ever, you've never you're slept You're driving here? a helicopter. Gasoline. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're good now. I give it three minutes and Dave's driving. Three minutes. <laughs> I said seconds, not minutes. All right, next one. That's your RV up there? Yes, sir. This guy really lucked out. I do not know how this thing uh, didn't roll over. It just looks like it just sort of slid off sideways. This is amazing. Oh, give me that. Let me show you how it's done. Oh, all right, you got it. All right, here we go. torn apart too bad though because we're gonna take it to the cabin for the snowed in series in January yikes so I don't want to have it torn apart too bad Right there. 
ice jammed up that, the right side. Turn. Is that your steering? It's the drive line. No wake though! Man, just breaking up the ice, you know? The ice is just too thick, too heavy. Here, we'll be straight up turning the engine off and making a full, complete landing without ever turning the engine back on. It'll just go to idle. And, and that's pretty intense training as far as helicopters yeah. go. So, yeah, my hat's gone. Feel yourself get sucked back in the seat in this player. In three, two, one. Flare, more flare, more, 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 more. Gentle forward and hold, 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 hold. There you go. And we could, we're gonna smooth that bottom side out just a little bit. <laughs> we're at the Porsche dealership. I don't know how this happened, but uh, we're currently in a Porsche Taycan, Taycan Turbo S. It's a car that I've liked for a long time. So gonna potentially look at maybe getting a new car today. This is all electric. Good, good amount of room. You could put a lot of snatch blocks back yeah, here. A lot of snatch blocks. A couple of yanking ropes. A couple toolboxes. I think we just built a tube chassis back here. 12 seconds later. I'm going to need to hire you for my social media. Can I cut my sleeves off? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not. Hey, you gotta hear from Who's playing? Yep, ready? Here we go. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> 